Hi, this is Ed from Wright. Today we're going to show you the fastest and easiest way to turn your mower around with the least amount of turf damage. And we're also going to show you the most popular mowing pattern and why it's fast, easy, and looks great. There's really two primary ways to cut your mowing pattern. And the first is a circular pattern. So you might make uh, one or two clockwise passes and then you'll make counterclockwise passes throwing the grass outward. And the advantage to that pattern is that you're not recutting the clippings. But the downside to that is when you've made your first trim pass, you threw the grass into the middle of the area and you made your other passes throwing it outside again. So you have kind of this ring of dense clippings around your area. And then when you get into the middle, you have an area where there's no clippings at all. If you do that one week, it might not be such an issue, but if you do that over the years, I've seen properties where the middle becomes all dried out and the, the grass becomes, um, it doesn't have as many nutrients going back into it. It's just not as healthy, not as green. And you have this really dense green area around the outside, sometimes maybe a little bit more thatch around the outside. And, um, and that, that's something you have to look out for. Now, sometimes it's worth it because it consumes less power. When you're cutting maybe some deeper grass or field area that you don't care exactly how much it looks, but you're trying to do it as quickly as possible, if you do those outside passes then, when you make your turns, they're only 90 degree angle turns. They're not complete 180 degree angle turns. You're throwing your, your clippings outside the area each pass, so you're not using as much power, but you're also not breaking down the clippings quite as much. And so in a, in a rough cut area, that doesn't matter. You're gonna get it done quicker with a little less fuel and wear and tear. Uh, and if it's you know, not done regularly, that's fine. The second way is to do a full three point turn, which works pretty well, but it takes a little bit longer. You, you go down to the end of your row, you back up while turning, you go forwards while turning, and then you go on down your row. Those few forwards and back motions take more time and you have this big heavy mower, you're accelerating and decelerating, and it and it's, can be hard on the turf as well. The best technique is you go to the end of your row and you just make a very slight turn towards your other pass, and while you're going straight there, you slow down. So you're not trying to um, turn the machine while slowing down. You're just simply slowing down while going straight. Then you begin going backwards. And you pick up a little bit of momentum going backwards, and once you have that momentum, you just slow down your left tire or your right tire, whatever your inside tire is, and just let the machine gently swing around under its own momentum. That way you're not forcing the turn, and you're just letting it follow through. I think you'll find that if you make those two inside passes and then you traverse back and forth uphill, you'll find that that leaves the best looking lawn the fastest with the least amount of wear and tear on your mower. 